And they're the rules homeowners are supposed to live by, but one local family found racist language in their handbook, only white people allowed. Turns out the document is actually decades old. It was never changed, though. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson joins us live tonight. Karma, what can you tell us about all this? Well, Ty, uh, I wish I had a better explanation, but that language is in fact there, and everyone we talk to agree. They all agree that it's, it's pretty outrageous. Some have learned to live with it because it doesn't apply anymore, but others, one family in particular, are calling for an immediate change. The Foster family had barely closed the sale on their new home when they were blown away by an old law. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That's ridiculous. Their move from Folsom to El Dorado Hills was just a matter of miles. But as far as the neighborhood agreement they just signed, they might as well have been worlds, or maybe I should say decades away. They're just really kind of awful uh -huh. and uh, racist and terrible. A few people we spoke with used similar words to describe Clause 13 of the Lake Hills CCNR. It's similar to a homeowners association agreement and leaves no room for misunderstanding. No person except those of the white Caucasian race shall occupy or reside upon any residential lot or plot in this subdivision except when employed in the household of a white Caucasian tenant or owner. And you have to sign off that you agree to these things. Some longtime Lake Hills residents were aware of the rule but didn't pay it any mind since there are non-whites in the neighborhood and there doesn't seem to be any effort to actually enforce that law. But the Fosters say that's not the point. Everybody knows that you can't enforce things like that. It still sends a message. It's so they're sending one right back. It's not the world that we want our kids to grow up in. Taking their outrage to community networking site nextdoor.com, they're raising awareness among their neighbors, some of whom, like new resident Dwight Holko, didn't realize what they'd signed when they moved in. It should be reversed just to just get off the records. And, and just out of curiosity, I'd probably like to find out who did that law and what their background was. The motivation for that whites only policy, according to the CCNR, is that letting non whites in would lower the property value of the community. These rules have been on the books since 1961, and the person in charge of enforcing them said he had no idea. It's really quite embarrassing. Brent Dennis has been with the El Dorado Hills Community Service District, which handles rule enforcement for over 30 communities for four years. He says he can't explain why this rule was put in place, but says it's definitely not enforced, violates federal law, and he guarantees his staff will correct the problem promptly. Have our staff start to glean through all of those and just make sure there aren't any other examples like that that need to be updated. And there actually is a meeting of that membership coming up on Monday, the group that governs the CCNRs. And so this law, according to uh, that official we just heard from, could be changed just as soon as Monday. Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News. All right, Karma, thank you so much. Defending